All right, so this is a follow-up video to, you know, I guess the theme that I've had going on here for a while, talking about these lease optimization rent reduction letters and are they a real threat? Now, they're a nuisance. They're a freaking nuisance if you're a cell tower landlord. I talked about this morning, it's Groundhog's Day. Over and over, you get these annoying letters. It's like swatting flies. You know, these, these uh, annoying, pesky rent reduction uh, people from Southern California and whatnot calling you. But what's the real risk if you have a cell tower on your property? Is it the 5G? You know, is it, you know, is it the satellites? Is something going to make my site obsolete? Are they going to move my tower? The, the, real, the real risk. Now, we talk about, um, you know, if you've got a, uh, if you've got a, a rooftop in, in an urban area, New York City, places like that, and it's paying five, six, seven thousand dollars a month. You know, if you like collecting that rent, you know, collect it for as long as you can. I don't think it's going to be here in ten years. So, if I was you, I would sell. You know, it's not financial advice. It's just a pretty good idea. Okay, but if you have a tower, okay, a lease on a rural property, let's say in Mississippi or Alabama, in a county where there's minimal zoning or no zoning or out west. Let's say it's a single carrier uh, Verizon tower that's owned by SBA Communications, or it's a single carrier uh, T-Mobile site owned by Crown Castle, or a single carrier AT&T site owned by um, American Tower, any of those combinations, right? You have a single carrier site in a rural area that has minimal zoning requirements you're gonna, you know, you might find out one day. Hey, you know, our neighbor across the uh, across the road or down the street. Hey, somebody just knocked out there on their property. They wanted to put up an AT and T tower, and you're scratching your head. Said, "Gee, you know, I have an AT and T tower on my property. That should be an immediate red flag because these companies it's like Tillman Infrastructure, Vertex, and a couple other, uh, you know, wonderful companies, tower developers." are out there pilfering and you know they're basically poaching carriers off of the existing uh, towers these are mature sites let's call them sites that have been up for 15 20 years where the tenant AT&T T-Mobile whoever is paying the tower company five six seven thousand dollars a month right these rents can get really high and they're paying these exorbitant amounts so Tillman knocks on the door and says, hey, Mr. Mr. AT&T, Mrs. AT&T. I don't want to use the wrong whatever pronouns, whatever those things are called. But they'll say, hey, Mr. Uh, hey, Carrier, uh, do you want to keep paying that $7,000 a month? Or, or, you know, would you like to come onto our tower that's locked in? We locked in a lease with this guy for, you know, 500 bucks a month for the next, you know, 90 years, barely escalating. And... They'll, you know, they'll charge them fifteen hundred bucks a month, twelve, I don't know, fifteen, maybe less. So they're, they, you know, they come in and they they basically undercut that carrier and um, the tower company to lure that that carrier uh, onto their site. So that's the real risk, okay? If you're, you know, you are a, um, you know, you're a, uh, what you call it? You're a landlord and you have a cell site on your property with one of these companies and it's a single carrier tower you really have you know a significant risk of the uh the rent going away even if it's only like you're only getting a thousand bucks a month the risk is and i had an example of this recently in in uh, north florida where you know somebody that we know that we've helped you know over a decade ago came to us and said hey steve you know they're they're looking to put another, you know, they wanted to put another tower on my property. I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, that's that's not that good. Not a good idea because they're looking to steal AT&T off, off that site. It's not their tower. It's it's another tower, you know, tower company owns it. But, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the excitement <laughs> turned to concern really quick. Um, so you got to watch it, right? These companies, they won't tell you what they're up to. And, you know, you're going to end up you're going to end up without any any rent at some point if they put up that second tower. And if you didn't do a good job negotiating that lease, you, you could wind up uh, with a with an empty tower on your property. And the county might, you know, if, if you didn't get the right language in there, the remo removal restoration clause, you might end up having to pay, you know, $20,000, $30,000 to get that cell tower removed. 
you know so you got to make sure that the, you know you got to watch the uh the loopholes in these uh cell site leases anyway that's all i got for now um if you have questions about a proposal if you get like one of these rent reduction proposals or if you if you have a tower and someone contacts you to put a second tower I'm not talking about a ground lease next to the existing tower if they're looking to put brand new steel in the air if they're looking to put up a brand new cell site next to the existing tower that that should be a flashing red light you're at risk because chances are they're trying to steal that tenant and lock you into a crappy lease and eventually into no lease you know so um anyway that's that's my daily cell tower conspiracy. Hope you have a good day.